Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Let's just jump right into it, man. Uh, Israel Adesanya versus Drikus Duplessis, DDP for the UFC Middleweight Championship. You know, originally everybody thought that it, would, it, was, it was supposed to be Israel was the champ and DDP was the title challenger. Mm -hmm. And it just shows you how crazy the fight game is, right? Josh, like, DDP is the champ, and Israel Adesanya is a challenge. I don't think no one would ever thought that that would have been the scenario mm -hmm. when they started beefing back in the day. What do you think about the beef, though? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think, I, I, I obviously, like, what you, like, fighting, like, if if I'm fighting somebody, you're not definitely not going to be my friend, right? You know what I mean? Especially, like, not till it's over or whatever, right? But um, obviously the way Israel carried himself after DDP's win over uh, the Reaper, I thought was despicable mm -hmm. myself. A lot of people uh, did. Yeah, I thought it was just totally despicable. Uh, but, uh, I mean... DDP has a val has a has a uh, a valid you know you know he he he's he's literally living in Africa he's from Africa and what he's saying wasn't out of line he was not insulting any of these guys he's just saying like I am from Africa I live in Africa I want to be the champion for my country it is my con like regardless of what mm -hmm. color he is he's it from Africa, yeah. right? So you know what's wild is that Africa is a continent. Yeah, I know. You know, and it's, massive. And it's weird like how everybody has like grouped up all the countries in Africa as mm -hmm. being Africa as a country. It's like no, Africa is a continent. Drikus is from South, South Africa, Africa yeah. which if he said he was representing Africa and South Africa, mm -hmm. then there's nothing really no one can say about that because mm -hmm. he he's really the only one that is the face of mm -hmm. South African MMA, right? Like. These, you know, Adesanya, he's from Nigeria, I believe. Like, mm -hmm. um, born, uh, yeah, born. And, um, uh, Francis, he's from Cameroon. Like, these are yeah. different, totally different countries, right? They're like, I like his story, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, come on, we can't, we don't even <laughs> want to get started with that, right? This is insane. Some of these African fighters have the most insane stories, mm -hmm. but, um, yes, it, it was something that was kind of like off putting, mm -hmm. but then at the same time, I think. This is my, I don't know exactly what was going on, but I think Izzy was trying to kind of like step a little bit over the line mm -hmm. just to kind of draw a little bit more into the fight. And uh, he kind of went too far over the line. And, um, and you know, it, 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 it was, a lot of people no thought it was distasteful and a lot of people thought it was uh, ignorant, you know, of him to do that. But that doesn't matter because mm -hmm. they use all that for promotion and Izzy knows yeah. the game. Yeah, he, it doesn't matter what you thought of what he did. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be used, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be ending up in what? Mm -hmm. Cash. Yeah, in his pocket for sure. Yeah, he, he knows the game. Yeah. Um, At the end of the day, I I never like when the UFC steals, like DDP literally just like dude Robert Whitaker's probably like like one of my favorite fighters, man. He's amazing, mm -hmm. and like I did not think Drakus was going to beat him, dude. And freaking, he freaking knocked my boy out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And freaking, that was a beautiful, shining moment for DDP. You know what I mean? And homeboy gets in the freaking octagon and start like, obviously intoxicated too, right? Obviously intoxicated and freaking like starts spouting off and like using the N word and shit on him. <laughs> like obviously trying to like, yeah draw out yeah. this guy but you know ddp's rebuttal was sick he's like you might be african but you're no brother of mine <laughs> i started laughing i'm like wow that was right up. and it was right off the top of his head too like it was clever <laughs> yeah, yeah drickus is uh he, he he knows how to talk yeah it's not the same as certain people but he knows he's how classy to, man yeah, he is i don't like that whole kissing his fucking coach on the lips oh, and shit that is but <laughs> odd, right? hey man uh, 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 but outside Different of cultures, that, man. yeah, 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 whatever that shit is. But uh, outside of that, fucking no, he's got class. You know what I mean? I always thought he was like, like uh, just watching him fight. Like I've always liked watching his style of fighting. Like fucking, 
he knows how to like pick good times to just blitz in on you man yeah. and he's a big yeah. strong guy like that fucking when you watch the slow-mo of that jab hitting Whitaker like when he he like moved into southpaw because Whitaker's the same way yeah. Whitaker will find an opening and he'll blitz on you man and just fucking hit you with everything you know what I mean like that one two three he's got like the boom boom head kick like Whitaker's a beast man but anyways so DDP switched his uh into southpaw waiting for Whitaker to pounce in and that's exactly what happened and then if you see the size of DDP's fist that hit Whitaker like his fist like took up his whole face man it was just a jab bro mm. that dropped Whitaker like that's power bro <sighs> serious dude he's a tank man and you're, you're yeah. right there's a lot of similarities into like the the approach that uh Whitaker has uh, you know and and DDP has like they do like the blitz and it, yeah. it, it help it, it works man because a lot of people can't handle the blitz no you know and but you know who handled the blitz Sean Strickland handled the blitz pretty well right yeah. if you talk about that fight that fight arguably Sean Strickland won and uh but he didn't but that fight you can learn a lot right about how to approach yeah. um DDP mm -hmm. and I think I think Adesanya's team they probably studied that fight a lot they looked into that fight mm. deep because I think Sean or DDP kind of made some mistakes in that one and uh mm -hmm. and the thing is you know why I like Izzy as the like as the um like the mad version of himself is mm -hmm. because every time he fights somebody like that, it brings something out of him. Like the second fight against um, uh, Pereira, he was like that. You know, he was <laughs> talking kind of the similar way. Um, when he was going to fight Whitaker the first time, mm -hmm. he had that edge to him. Like he was talking that way. Mm -hmm. And similar to the, like this one, mm -hmm. he has like, because he's rich already, man. He's way mm -hmm. richer than... 99% of fighters right now, right? Mm -hmm. UFC fighters, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not about the money anymore. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost not even about, like, the glory anymore, right? Because he has all the glory. Like, he could go off and be in movies and become a bigger fucking per star if he wanted to, probably. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just, like, he wants to prove the point that, yo, I'm not dead. Like Scalps. Yeah, like, yeah, scalps. And it's like, yo, that was only one fight, and I had an off night. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to leave this sport mm -hmm. with that. You know what I mean? You know, like that old saying, you want to die young because you want to leave a beautiful corpse? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like fighting, too. Mm -hmm. Fighting, you want your last performance when you step away to be a beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful thing. Like, GSP. that's why GSP was... <laughs> yo, were you going to say GSP? Yeah, I just said it. Yeah, that's why GSP came back, I think. Buddy, he's a, the, yeah, the cream of the crop. Yeah, the he came back and just had a beautiful performance mm -hmm. against Bisping, got mm -hmm. another belt, and left. And... What do we remember from him? We don't remember the Johnny Hendricks fight. Mm -mm. We remember when he came him up to 185 and got the belt against mm -hmm. Bisping, right? Mm -hmm. So I think Izzy has that edge to him, right? And I think that he's going to come out. And he's, but the thing is, he's not a guy that's, like, over-aggressive either. Like, even though he has the edge, he's going to have tactics. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a game plan. And he's going to try to utilize those things. It's just, can DDP go in there and disrupt that? Mm -hmm. I think he could. But... I don't know. I'm I'm thinking Izzy. He's had time to kind of like chill out, mm -hmm. and and have a really full camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's gonna go in there, and uh, I think he's gonna do something amazing. I think this is the fight that he comes out and does what he he's known to do: finish mm. dudes, finish his fucking um, these grudge matches. Cause the Whitaker fight grudge match. It was a lot of grudge, you know, between mm -hmm. them. The Pereira fight grudge match. Right? There was just a lot of, like, animosity. And this mm -hmm. one is very similar. The Strickland fight wasn't really, like, animosity, right? There was just, like, Strickland's just a wild card. Is he just, like, he just says what he says. You know what I mean? I, don't, I really don't give a fuck. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's different. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think that plays a factor, like, animosity mm. and all that? I do. I think, I think a good fighter doesn't let emotions, you know, get in the way of what his task is. Israel Adesanya, this is the thing about the middleweight division, if you hadn't noticed, who has it been dominated by over the last, since Anderson Silva, kickboxers. Yeah, for sure. Right? The, like, I don't know what the hell, like, Sean Strickland is like a different type of animal. Like, yeah. this guy literally doesn't lift weights, he just fights. That's how he trains to fight, is he fights, and... 
I guess like you and we both know this guy takes the best strikers in the world and he somehow makes them look like they're not. But anyways, like Israel Adesanya moved up to light heavyweight, fought Jan Blachowicz. How did he beat him? Fucking yeah. wrestled them down, right? Like, that's just what that division's been lacking. Like, I'll be honest, man. I thought Izzy was going to lose against fucking Yoel Romero. I thought Yoel Romero was going to smash him. And Yoel Romero, for some reason, did not do anything. You know what I mean? And he's a, an Olympic yeah. medal-winning wrestler. Yeah. So I don't know, man. You can never tell what's... You know, you can always see what these guys have for skills. And you can always imagine what you think that they should do but they're gonna do what they're gonna do but i think ddp he's a champion he's a proud champion he's got a a country behind him and uh i just don't think kickboxing is just really gonna do it man he's just too complete uh, too complete of a fighter and he's got big power man in his hands and I think once he starts, like, showing Izzy different levels, like, you know, blitz you in the top, bam, take you at the bottom, just, like, I think Izzy's going to have a long night, man. I don't think it's, yeah. I think once the, you know, we get some bigger guys, like, there are some big guys in that division that are wrestlers, like, Petrovsky's one of them. Like, <clears throat> these guys just got to learn how to turn on the gas a bit well, better, you yeah. know what I mean? And, you know... They they just they they don't have the gas tanks that they need to implement the game plan. Yeah, because like, like dude, like you're getting beat up by kickboxers, yeah. man. You guys should be able to manhandle these dudes, yeah. right? But the thing is, it's that that distance control. Yeah, it's and really, management that oh, really amazing. fucks up a lot of oh, these, yeah. uh, these grapplers. Yeah, where they can't even get in close enough. Yeah, to <laughs> facts, down. facts. I've talked to like a bunch of middleweights in the UFC about this. Like mm -hmm. these guys are grapplers that are like kind of like in the lower half of the division, mm -hmm. and they say this like exact same thing because they go out and train with those guys right mm. and they're yeah, saying he's hey, got nice reach you got to be able to get in there and yeah yeah and you got to fight through punches elbows and knees yeah. and kicks to get there and then mm -hmm. after you get through that now you got to take them down like yeah. it's not as easy as you, people no, just want to fucking not. throw it out yeah. there right but so you DDP, gotta trick him you gotta trick you're him. right ddp <laughs> has that unique style that mm -hmm. long as his gas tank and he did have the surgery on his mm -hmm. nose before that he was they said he was struggling with mm -hmm. and we saw it in the dare until fight right it was kind of weird where he kind of like fatigued in the second round and then third round he fucking went back to life which is i always fucking trip out when i see fighters do that mm -hmm. like where they like look tired and then all of a sudden like third round especially in a championship fight fourth mm -hmm. round they just turn it up and it's like mm -hmm. what the fuck happened but um yeah, like right now, you know, DDP is sitting at plus one ten. It's not bad, right? If you want, if you think DDP is gonna win, that's a pretty good little bet to throw on, just like as a straight bet, right? Mm -hmm. But what kind of? Um, There's good parlay fuel on there, actually. Yeah. Uh, Prada's, he would be really good parlay fuel for that bet. What 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 else would you do? Would you would you throw in like um you know. Uh, like a stoppage, like a TKO for Drickus? Would that be a, a bet that... Because like you said, you know, he might wear him down and make it a long night and then eventually be able to take him out later on. I don't know if I would pick that fight for a finish, man, because, okay. uh, well, look what... It, dude, we've... Even when Pereira was taking... When, even when Pereira beat Izzy, it, it, per, Izzy wasn't out on his fucking ass. Yeah, that's true. He was still standing yeah. lucid, right? Yeah. So... Can DDP, <clears throat> can DDP uh, you know, accomplish that? I don't know. Right? Like, Izzy knows how to, you know, he knows how to move around when he's got a guy on top of him, right? Like, Jan Blahowitz fucking sat on him for however many rounds, right? I don't know. I don't think that fight goes to a finish, man, to be honest, unless Izzy somehow finishes fucking Drakus. I don't, mm. I don't know if... Is he's too smart of a fighter, man? He's just a smart fighter, but he, you know, I don't know. I just don't. It's crazy to me, like how guys that are like, like look what happened with fucking Chael Sonnen and Anderson Silva, man. Like, yeah, you know what true. I mean? Like, yeah. I just don't. I did, couldn't understand Five how rounds. these guys were just like yeah. these these kickboxers. They were yeah. they're they're dominating an entire division at championship level for fucking years, man. Yeah. It's like, is there really no good fucking? 
wrestlers in that weight class, man. Like, you think you think Izzy's uh, working on his uh, on his like guard, like maybe looking to throw up like arm bars and like triangles and shit. Could we see something similar to that, like where he's getting wrestled? He's definitely got the the limbs. Oh, he definitely has the limbs, right? And we've seen him training with like high level. Mm-hmm. You know, Craig Jones goes over there all the time, right? Yeah, it's not like he's, he's like gonna, the best grappler yeah, in the world. Exactly, right? Fuck, <laughs> that was dude. such a that is a weird dream, <laughs> dude. It was so funny, man. Or I'll tell you the dream after. But yo, you and Craig Jones are both in it. It was like apocalyptic shit, too. <laughs> it was fucking funny, man. <laughs> You're gonna laugh when I tell you this shit. But anyways, uh, uh, yeah, like if he's grappling with guys like Craig Jones, like fuck, who knows what this kid's been. Who knows what he knows, right? We only know Izzy as the fucking kickboxer, the yeah. stand-up fucking. Yeah. Would would mm-hmm. which really good take that defense, especially along the fence. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what you, that's the weapon for Izzy. Mm-hmm. Like he could use that fence to defend the takedowns, but mm-hmm. we don't know how strong like Drickus is compared to Izzy because mm-hmm. Izzy's like deceptively strong, right? Because he just he's like a long, tall guy, so you don't yeah. think that he's that strong. But people no. from people yeah. I know. They're telling me he's deceptively strong. Like that's Look what he did been... to Paulo Costa. Exactly. Right? Paulo Costa, dude. I, I fucking, dude. Like Paulo Costa was on a run, bro. And like we're talking like a bulldog, like a and bulldozer. And he derailed that fucking dude, thing. Dude, right man, now it's like holy <laughs> fuck. Did he derail that train, bro? Like, dude, like if if you can, if you can fucking get through like a bulldozer like Paulo Costa like that builds like some confidence right like I genuinely don't think Izzy's afraid of Drakus in any way no, shape or form no. like I think Izzy's confident that he's gonna mm-hmm. beat him but I think yeah if Drakus is a smart guy he will go in there and he will he will fucking blitz him on the feet and then fucking sw- fucking just grab those legs man and wear him down just beat him up for five rounds that way there's no way uh, if he stands yeah. and trades with him he's oh, he's dude. fucked and he said that he wants to I, I don't know if that's just him just talking shit you know what i mean because you don't know like when you go to those press conferences it's like you're just saying shit off the top mm-hmm. of your head you don't you're not really saying like detailed game plans you mm-hmm. know what i mean and and what one thing that's great about Drickus's team is that they prepare their fighters very well. So you're going to get the best Drickus, you're going to get the best Izzy, and we're going to see I'm good. We're going to see uh I think we're going to see a great fight, man. I think we're going to see it might be one of those fights where it's like like extremely exciting or it could be kind of boring because they're just so good. You know like, mm-hmm. you know when you get the two best like like I talk to wrestlers a lot and they're like mm-hmm. or jujitsu guys. And they mm-hmm. say, "Yeah, you get like high level two high level black belts to you know, like, compete against each other, it becomes boring because everybody's just neutralizing everything, right? Yeah. So I just hope that, that the fight doesn't turn into that, mm-hmm. right? And they fucking go at it. But I think emotions will take over at one point because they're going to be talking to each other, guaranteed, mm-hmm. in the cage. That's all going to be part of the fight, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's most likely the fight goes to the decision, mm-hmm. and it's either way. But I'm leaning towards Izzy because, like, look, I'm wearing his shirt right now. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm going to lead towards Izzy. And... Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know Izzy. I've never, like, talked to him or anything. I've never mm-hmm. been around him. But I think, like, I see that in his fi- in his eyes, mm-hmm. right? Like, he has that little spark. And uh, Trust me, it's weird. I can see it, too. And I know what you're talking about, man. Like, I fucking... Some fighters, it doesn't matter who you put in front of them on that night. Yeah. They just had it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know what you're talking about, and that's uh, that's what you're saying. You're seeing in Izzy right now. Yeah, yeah I do see that. I, you know, I've been mm-hmm. peeping out the press conferences and the interviews, and and a couple of clips from his like mm-hmm. YouTube stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, man, like it's it's that fucking rematch Pereira Izzy, the fucking first fight against Whitaker Izzy, like because you know the second fight it, he didn't have that, mm-hmm. so he kind of went in there and just won the fight. He didn't really go after it, mm-hmm. but. The first fight, he went after it, man, and he and he mm-hmm. it was perfect for him. So, does he have it again in him? Does is he able to do it? Is he able to overcome it? We'll mm-hmm. see. Yeah, exactly. That's the fun part about it. I'll be honest, man. Every fucking time I've picked against fucking DDP, he's fucked me, man. So like, yeah. every time, and, and it's fucking weird with Sean Strickland too, because every time I've bet against Sean Strickland, I fucking lose. 
You know what I mean, too? Like, dude, like, every time you think these guys are going to lose, like, Sean Strickland and DDP just prove you yeah. wrong every fucking time. It's weird. Yeah, I'm going to so, go with Izzy by decision. But I could see DDP yeah. winning by decision as well. Yeah, I, 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 I'm... Oh, fuck, man. It's bet see, time, since Josh. I, since it's bet, bet time. It's What's bet the bet? Time. Yeah, well, see, even that money line, like... It's not tasty enough. Like if 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 Dracus was like a plus two and a half, oh, I'd be hitting that money line for sure. But a plus, what is he plus one thirty? Yeah, it's pretty even. Yeah, that's not it's not wide enough, man. It's it's not juicy enough. Mm. Not juicy enough. But straight up pick, you're you're going with DDP. You're looking. You're seeing uh, that. Straight up pick. Fuck, man. Honestly, these last. These last few cards we've been talking about, I think, like, the only sure freaking winner we've been talking about is fucking Tom Aspinall. So, I don't know, man. This is not a sure thing for me, bro. Like, honestly, like, they're just both such stylistically different fighters. Depends on who's going to be able to fucking impose his will on each other, man. I'll say, I'll say a 50 coin toss. All right. 